How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Evolution. Today, we're going to be getting deeper into this and trying some of these other things and just building some designs and having some fun with it. So, the starting I wanted to do was actually build, like, a baby. Uh, I know a lot of people have tried to build, like, humans and whatnot, but we're on a 2D plane. You got to remember that. And you're not going to be able to make a realistic walker on a 2D plane because, uh, unfortunately, joints and bones can't overlap each other. So it'd be impossible to make a walking animation just because the game constraints don't allow it. But we might be able to crawl here. So I think you guys get the idea. This is its body. This is its head. This is its arms. And that's its legs. So we're going to try and see if maybe we can actually climb with this. Uh, there's an obstacle jump as well. I, I want to see if we can actually climb those stairs today. Uh, I haven't seen anybody that's been able to do it. And obviously, I want to try and see what happens here. So we're going to connect all the muscles together. And uh, yeah, we'll do this like that. This like that. So we have the neck dealt with. I don't really think we need anything else. We're definitely going to need some sort of joint in the middle here, though, or the body's going to buckle. So uh, let me actually think of how I want to do this. Well, actually, let's try something crazy. What if we put a muscle in between this so he can keep his body rigid? Uh, I have no idea if that's going to help or not, but we'll give it a shot here. Let's not go too crazy. Let's see how this works, and then we'll go from there. I'm going to start with running because I want to see if it can actually crawl. Now, we're going to up the population to 50, and we'll do a five-second generation uh, per creature. So we'll evolve that, and let's see. Okay, right now, I mean, it's in the crawling pose. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, I didn't intentionally make a humping machine, but that's how it came out, guys. He figured out that uh, it's easier to hump the ground than it is to actually move its legs and crawl. Oh my god, this thing's actually humping the ground. What the hell am I making? Let's give it a few generations here to see if it actually... Oh, oh, oh! What the hell is that? Okay, that's the first one that's done that, and it just realized, holy crap, that's the way to do it. So if you ever want to learn how to crawl, just, you know... Contort your body on top of each other, you know, kind of flip it like a book, and then just use your legs and your hands as little... Oh my god, what did I just make? This is great. All right, I was gonna say, let's give it a couple generations to see if it can actually crawl, and you know what? It might actually try and crawl after a while here, once it realizes that maybe it's bending itself too much. So I'm gonna give it, like, 50 generations, and we'll see what this thing turns into. <laughs> All right, so we gave them 76 or 77 generations now, and still their best strategy is to evolve into a smaller human and then kind of uh, just go across the screen. I love it. Let's see all, the, all of them at the same time. See what they're actually trying to do? So it looks like, yeah, they've pretty much decided that that's the best idea, and then some are just dumb. So that's a little unfortunate. I thought we were well on our way to actually crawling here. You know what I'm going to try? We're going to put another bone up here. Oh, sorry, not, 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 not a bone, a joint. And I want to make this a little bit more rigid. Because my assumption was correct, he buckled his body right away. So we're going to kind of do that. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna have, like, a hunchback, I guess you could say. Now, let's actually try. I've never seen anybody able to climb the, uh, stairs. So, I wanna see if we have a chance here with a crawler. You know, babies learn by crawling upstairs. So, I gotta assume we might have a chance here to actually climb. The fact that they're sticking is pretty impressive, but it has a very hard time to actually climb up because unfortunately as you can see the bottom leg is getting stuck and it doesn't know how to lift up that leg if we, if we can get something to do that though there we go come on come on oh man you just really screwed up and after 32 generations unfortunately yeah you can see he just doesn't have the force to push up his back legs every now and then he gets close but once something gets like locked behind a stair it just it totally screws up you can see uh he's not even having a chance right now so yeah uh, I think that's a total failure, unfortunately. We have to figure out how to jump higher. I actually wonder if we, um... You know what, let's try something here. I'm gonna make, like, spring arms. We'll see if we can do something with springy arms, if that makes sense. <laughs> yes, this front went from a baby to having spring arms. So we're gonna do that, and then we're going to add some muscles in between those. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do here. This is, uh... Yeah, I, I, this used to be a baby. Now it's more of a spider than anything else. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna muscle through this like that. There we go. And maybe, I'm actually kind of curious to see how this thing's gonna work. And because it's not even close to a baby anymore, let's just get rid of the head because it's not needed. And do I wanna do anything else? You know what, I'm gonna put a muscle up to there. 
just to kind of make it a little bit more rigid. And let's see what happens with this thing. I have no idea what this thing's gonna do. I, I just decided to make it. And it might actually have enough detach points to kind of crawl up there. You never know. Come on, baby. And if you look, you can see it's able to stick itself again, but it just, it doesn't know to lift up its body to get over the stairs. Once, you know, one part of the body hits the stairs, it is totally confused. And maybe after like 800 generations, it would actually know that, but uh, that is a long time to try and see if this thing has a chance. I don't think it does. I'm actually, you know what, let's go back. Let's try out obstacle jump. This might actually be a good jumper. I mean, it's got legs to spread and we might be able to do that. Oh. Okay, that that wasn't a jump guys. Let's try What are are you even trying? All right. Yeah, it's safe to say I think I added whoa that one that one Okay, I never seen that before <laughs> But yeah, it's safe to say this guy does not know how to jump I think I these top muscles are actually making it so the legs can't bend all the way downwards Which is probably the issue, but I just wanted to quickly try that we're gonna try something totally new now I tried to delete that doesn't work that way. I can't highlight a machine So we're just gonna delete everything and start from scratch All right, so I made another jumper here. You can see it's kind of trying to jump I mean, it's, it's kind of humping the ground slash jumping But it's actually getting up into the air a little bit from time to time uh, now I think what we got to start playing with is the brain so that's what we're gonna try and do right now so we can see um, For example, the fitness is 23.47 percent right now This is all information you can get by the way just by hitting best of gen You can actually click it and it's going to tell you everything about the creation now Unfortunately, we're still not getting jumping height right now because both legs need to be off the ground obviously So it's ba basically with with the obstacle one It just tries to jump over it or get as much of the creation above the ball as possible and sometimes that's just spreading out your legs and not actually jumping unfortunately but what I wanted to get into right now and this is something I know very little about so if you guys know more feel free to let me know you can actually play with the neural networks in this game so the suggested start or the starting you get is three layers with ten nodes basically now from what I understand input start over here so an input could be something like distance uh, could be the amount of uh, joints on the ground for example and then it's going Going to go through calculations of muscle expanding and contracting for example this one has 10 and then it's gonna choose the best one and then put that out to the muscle now this works for every muscle on your creation you can customize this though for example if you want to try more nodes therefore you should have a more precise creation you can go up to 100 you can go up to whatever your PC can handle uh, but we can get even more complex and again I don't know too much about this so I might even be saying this wrong uh, but from what I understand, this is a very basic system. The more you add, in terms of nodes, the more it can learn. But if you add layers too, this is for more complex creations, uh, you can go throughout the system, and these kind of work like filters. This works really well if you go through a lot of evolutionary steps because it has more things to try. But it takes forever for something to evolve. Uh, so for right now, we're going to stick with three layers, and I want to up... The amount of nodes. Let's try 50 for example and see what happens with my creation So we're gonna close this off and now we're gonna try the obstacle jump and it should have a bigger brain So it should try more things and again, I don't know too much about it But you can see right now it's definitely trying to do more and uh, It seems like each creation as well as doing something vastly different as you can see So you can actually show muscle contraction now as well so you can see which muscles are doing what uh, there's a lot of cool things to this game or simulator I guess you can call it that was definitely a jump though as you saw that's something we haven't even saw uh, Max jumping height 0.1 meters guys. That's better than the last time So we got something going on right now, and we are just simply improving the brain So how crazy can you take this? I have no idea I think after a while you might do more damage than good if you start making the brain more and more complex because you got to remember these are simple creations you don't need a complex brain but I mean I just love it look at how much different this creation is reacting now actually it'll probably be easier to understand the difference if we go to running so let's go back and do the suggested brain and then we'll make a crazy brain and we'll see if maybe we can overproduce a brain for this or if adding more to the brain is just always better so we'll see we'll show one at a time right now this thing might not even be able to run I have no idea we'll give it 10 generations and we'll see what happens Oh, look at that. Already it learns how to jump on this course. And that's what I have an issue with the uh, 
The other actual jumping one is it's not really calculating the jump. It's calculating how much of your creation, from what I understand anyways, how much of your creation is over the ball. And with a creation like this, you can simply stand up and have the vast majority of your creation over the ball. So it really isn't showcasing jumping. You can see probably now I'm getting a better jumping stat than that one, or at least the same 0.1 meters. But obviously this is very frog-like and it's working just like I want it to be. I kind of wanted to make a little frog. So uh, yeah, seems to be working very well. And at generation 10, we'll see what its fitness level is and then we can compare based on a more complex brain. So fitness, 7.62% on generation 10. It actually dropped down. You can see it goes up and down based on it learning, but over time you can see it definitely improves drastically and then it kind of hits a limit and that's just based on your creation and uh, how bad you made it basically. So at generation 10, we had about a 7.5 to 8% fitness. Now let's go to the brain again and let's play around with this. So we're gonna up this, let's up it to even 100. That might be too much. We'll try it out, we'll see what happens. If we can get to between seven and eight or obviously better, then obviously the brain helps out a lot. But it might take more evolutions for it to learn now too. I don't know, again, neural networks are new to me. Uh, so yeah, you can see now it's definitely trying different things. That's good though. It's gonna find something that it likes and then it's gonna go with it. Now this might not be a good experiment either because this game is totally random. Let me just say that it starts with 50 or however many you make and it does random things and it bases the next generation off that. But if the starting randomness is not optimal for the design like it's looking like right now, it might just run into major problems and not do anything. And actually, you can see, uh, like I said, maybe making a more complex brain is a bad idea for little creations. But the neural network is really interesting in this game, and I want to start expanding on it and learning more. You can actually see it's starting to kind of walk. It's not even jumping. It's using bo both of its legs to go back and forth. Uh, but let's see its fitness level. Yes, as I assumed. Unfortunately, it is lower. Let's go back. Let's try and up the... Uh, brain just a little bit so we're gonna go to 20 we're yeah 20 should be good that's double the original amount and we'll see if adding 10 nodes is really going to improve it okay this one's looking more promising doing the same similar thing as before but it's trying different things i'm noticing you can see right now it totally stopped uh so that one got ruined but it knows now okay jumping is the way to do this let me try and move my muscles a million different ways and figure out the best way to do that. So I really think this is better over time, but for the the, the uh, amount that we're doing right now, it's just it's not enough generations for it to learn. But if we maybe tested between 500 or 200 generations, I think over time this one would be much better. You can see actually on 13, we're already at 10.86. It's figured out how to move now and it's like, holy crap, I know what to do and I'm doing it way better than, uh, you know, having a smaller brain. And there we go, it's figured it out. It drops its limbs all the way down and uses that momentum to push it all the way up. I really wish it wasn't lagging so much. And that is such a better creation. I guarantee if we took the first creation and put it through 18 generations, it would not be anything like this guy. It just takes a little bit longer for it to find its way because of the amount of nodes it has to go through. So you can see it has 35 nodes, uh, a neural network of three layers. Let's try something fun right now. Let's see what happens when we go crazy on the neural network. We're just, we're just going to boost this thing. You know what, we'll keep it at 20. I think that's good, but we're going to boost it to six layers. Now, from what I, 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 I don't know much about this at all. But this is really only good if you're doing long evolutionary tests and you have complex, you know, standing creations and things like that. So I don't think this is gonna go well, but we'll try it out and just kind of see how they react now that there's so many things it has to go through. You can think of those things as like filters and you can see now it's like, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing and uh, it just kind of sits there. And again, if we waited hundreds and hundreds of generations it might figure out its way and actually start working you can see actually this one this might be it i i don't know again neural networks are still a learning thing for me it's at least moving forward it has fitness of 5.4 let's see what happens let's see how big the fitness can go you can see over time here how was it doing it's actually been in okay so yeah after generation three it figured it out you can see the fitness bump from one or two to three is crazy and for some reason now it's dropping that one was really bad generation seven I don't know what was going on. I really like this though I didn't realize this was in this game But now you can actually go back and analyze the generations and see what it's different doing But you can see the fitness it changes so much because it's trying so many different things now 
Uh, so yeah, it goes up and down like crazy, and it might go back and forth between old generations. I don't know. I don't know too much about the neural network. I don't know too much about the AI in this game. It's still learning for me, but I'm really interested in this game. I'm really interested to learn more. It's not really even a game. I don't know why I call it that. It's definitely more of a simulation than anything else. You can see, though, definitely not as good as our older one with the simpler brain. So yeah, what I'm getting at is sometimes it's not the creation, it's what your settings are in this game. You might have to play with your neural net network settings to get it to where you want it to be. Uh, but you really gotta be careful with that as well. You don't wanna go too crazy on it unless you have a crazy creation that you wanna go through a lot of evolutions. All right, let's play with the brain a little bit more. I'm really enjoying this testing here. So I made the simplest design ever. This is obviously just a spring. Uh, so hopefully we're just at the jumping one now. We're not doing the obstacle jumping because that is really, really bad. So I think, yeah, you can see right away. I mean, this is a spring. It should be very easy to jump. And this is with the basic brain. So I want to see if we can maybe overproduce the brain or if, you know, adding to the brain is going to be really good. But you can see the uh, maximum jumping height, 0 0.5 meters, 1.2 meters on the second one. So clearly it's learning some good stuff. It's actually dropping over time. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it judges based on distance with this one as well, like length of the jump. I have no idea. We'll give it a few generations and see what happens here, but obviously it's working as planned. It actually might even be able to do the obstacle one because it is just a, such a simple design. It's just a big spring. I actually really like this thing, and it's probably be very fast at walking too. That, that's what's so great about this game. Usually the simpler you go, the better your creation's gonna be. All right, and after 34 generations, it still likes to screw up, as you can see, but uh, it's usually keeping its maximum jumping height around one meter, give or take a little bit. So, uh, yeah, definitely a good jumper. One of the best jumpers that we've seen. Let's see what happens when we play with the brain, though. I actually, I think with, su with such a simple design, I mean, all you got to do is expand or contract those muscles, and it's going to do everything that it needs to do. That is, there's not many joints affecting the system. I don't know if adding to the brain's really going to help, but we're gonna go to 50 again, and we'll see what happens here. And uh, we might even go a little bit more crazy. So I think I, ha I gave it to like 30. We'll give it to about 30 again. Now you can see uh, immediately at the start, it's not doing things as simple, but look at that distance. Now it's gonna know, oh my God, if I really expand and contract quickly, this might be the way to do it, boys. It's keeping its middle open, as you can see. Maybe it figured out that that uh, is working for it. Let's actually see maximum jumping height already. 0 0.6. 1.5 is officially the highest I've ever seen. That's because it, ex it contracted so quickly. But I don't know with this simulation if it's just basing it based off height or if it's based off distance as well. And I think that has a play in this one. So that might be why it's kind of going back and forth. Uh, between distance and height. All right, and already we're doing really good, and it's not just once or twice. If we go throughout the, the, the uh, generations here, 1.5, 1.2, 1, you get the idea. It is improving 1.5. It's almost always over 1, except for the starting generations, of course. So you can see already the addition of the brain actually did make it more better. I'm actually surprised. I thought it wouldn't really affect it too much, but it's looking like it's definitely doing better. We're only on generation 19, too, and it actually tends to go backwards a little bit. All right, we're on about the same amount of generations, so let's see how we're doing here. Uh, maximum jumping height, 1.7, 1.5. How are we doing? 1.5, 1.4, 1.6. So yeah, definitely better than last time, and it seems to be more consistent now, now that it's found its groove, if you will. So yeah, that's just uh, something that I wanted to show you guys. The neural network is really, really interesting, and I'm obviously I need to learn more about it. I, I want to learn as well. So if you guys know anything more, if you're a real nerd on neural networks, feel free to put it in the comments below because I would love to learn. All right, guys, and on that, we're going to wrap up another episode of Evolution. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The main focus I wanted to do today was just learn a little bit more about this game because we really only scratched the surface in the original episode. Now we're getting into actually playing with the brain and whatnot. And yeah, I really do need your support, guys. So if you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to see, uh, if you can know anything about the neural networks, feel free to put it down below because I always listen to you guys. You guys are absolutely awesome. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Now, I'm hoping there's some way where you can actually submit creations to me because I would love to try out your designs as well because you guys are just as cool but I can't really think of any easy way to do that unless you just actually you know screenshot uh, your creation and maybe I can remake it if it's simple enough I don't know but yeah let me know down below if you guys have any suggestions on how we could do that and if you guys would like to do that even so yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this one guys thanks for watching and liking and I'll see you in the next one